So I'll come back and start with Tariq, but first I'm going to introduce to you uh, Andy Liebman from EditShare. So put your hands together. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I apologize for my voice tonight. I'm kind of losing it, as you can tell. Uh, we're really excited to be uh, sponsoring this event tonight, and thank you all for coming out here and joining us. Uh, we're very enthusiastic about hearing what Tariq has to say about his craft. Before we get to the main course, though, we're going to have a little appetizer. And uh, I, I do want to mention that after Tariq, I'm, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of technology. But before, uh, I'd like uh, to take the sponsor's prerogative a little bit to talk a bit about Edit Share and why we put on events, events like this. Uh, the, the truth is, uh, we love to talk shop about production because many of us in the company come from the world of production, myself included. For the 25 years before I started Edit Share, I was a producer, director, writer, sometimes cameraman, often editor for documentary series like. Uh, Frontline, Nova, Scientific American Frontiers, and numerous Discovery Channel shows. In fact, it was while working on a Discovery Channel series that I got the idea for EditShare. I was making what you might call a reality show 11 years ago uh, about a group of scientists who were simulating a human mission to Mars up in the Canadian Arctic. We were about a thousand miles to the north of the magnetic pole. It was way up there. And uh, as you can imagine, it was uh, below freezing every day. And there we were, a group of producers, cameramen, three editors working, uh, cutting DV video in an unheated tent, day in, day out, all summer long. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, it was really beautiful up there. I, you know, I can't say we didn't enjoy it, but there was one thing that irritated us every single day, and I'm sure you can all relate to that. Invariably, the material that one editor had to work on was on the other editor's firewire drive. And so uh, this was a real bummer because it was very cold, and this meant that somebody every night had to spend time in that tent copying or consolidating media from one drive to the next, rather than being snug in a warm sleeping bag. And one lonely night when it was my turn to do that, I started thinking, you know, there's got to be a cost-effective solution that would allow a group of editors to work collaboratively and use the same footage. And this was the seed that led to EditShare and our first collaborative storage product. So now, you know, we fast forward about uh, a decade later, and today we have edit share installations in almost 3,000 sites, including major national broadcasters like ION TV here in the US, ITV in the UK. We're in uh, many New York production facilities, production companies like Atlas Media, uh, Sharp Entertainment, hybrid films, and we're at many universities like NYU and Fordham. Uh, despite our success, we've never really lost track of our roots in this industry. We all know what it's like to put together a feature film or a documentary or cut a news story. And uh, we all know in our hearts that what really makes a good film or a good program is the people behind it. That said, it never hurts to have good technology, and that's what we're about. Innovative technology made by people who come from this industry. So with that all said, I'd like to introduce my business partner from the United Kingdom, James Richings. James is uh, going to come out here in a sec. Uh, James and our third partner, Tara Monford, who's not here tonight, are responsible for the absolutely brilliant acquisition and subsequent development of the editing application Lightworks. And it's because of Lightworks that we know Tariq Anwar. So James, why don't you come on out? How do you switch over to that new image? Ah, I can change it for you. So we're just going to put up an, an image up. Um, you know, it's been uh, just over two years since we took over Lightworks. And 
it never ceases to amaze me when I see the list of films that have been cut on Lightworks. And many of you will be familiar with these. But you're probably not so familiar with Lightworks as a tool. So we just want to take a couple of minutes just to tell you a little bit about it, um, what we're doing with it, where we're going with it. And Lightworks has a, a really colourful and rich history. And um, Tariq has actually been a, a part of that history. So we're really pleased to have him here tonight. Lightworks began about 20 years ago, um, about the same time as Avid. They both came out together. And for much of the 90s, they went head to head. And they're both very successful in their own right. But Lightworks had a very different philosophy to editing, a different approach. And it had the famous Lightworks console, and it appealed to film editors. And uh, it was very successful in film. But as the world changed, Lightworks didn't really keep up with the times as we moved into the, the digital world. Um, so, thankfully, there was a couple of dedicated developers, some very loyal editors, and Lightworks survived. And about two years ago, we had this, this great opportunity in front of us to take on this piece of software that had this you know, amazing history, uh, great credentials, uh, solid foundation, but it lacked a, a passion and a, a vision to take it forward. And as Andy said, many of us in EditShow have come from post or production, so we understand the industry very well. But what we really like to do is innovate. We like to challenge technologies. We like to challenge conventions. And with Lightworks, we saw an opportunity to do just that. And one of the things we love to do is make great tools. But Lightworks is a bit more than just a tool. And um, I wanted to just uh, re relay that. When I first saw Tarek using Lightworks, um, he put together this sequence very quickly, very elegantly, and he did it without looking at any menus, no keyboard shortcuts. He was just locked onto the picture and sound. And this is really the heart of what Lightworks is about and the philosophy of what it's about. It's, it's more of an extension of you, and it doesn't get in the way of your thought process. It doesn't interrupt you. So with this solid foundation, we, we've got these great tools, and what are we going to do with it? So we're looking at the, the next 20 years of where we take Lightworks. And Lyrics is really about people. Our industry is about people, as Andy said. So we're building this very big community from the ground up. Um, we're very active in this community. We get our developers in front of people. And we listen to feedback. And Lyrics is evolving all the time. But we're going to take Lyrics in a slightly different direction. And we're doing two things that other nonlinear editors are not doing. Uh, the first one is we're taking it completely cross-platform. Because we believe that it shouldn't matter what you sit down in front. It should be you know, Mac, Windows, Linux, Workstation, Laptop. It shouldn't really matter. This is a tool for editing. So we're doing that. And we'll be the first professional editor to actually achieve that. The second thing we're going to do is we're taking it open source. We're opening up the code of Lightworks. And this is a really exciting opportunity for us because we've had just under 2,000 developers sign up to this program. So we're really excited about the possibilities that are in front of us, of the, the things we can achieve over the next few years with Lightworks. But right now, and this is something we did about 11 months ago, there's a free version of Lightworks. And we'll always maintain a free version of Lightworks. You can go and download it. We've had about 160,000 people do so in the last 11 months, which is a staggering number. And later on, uh, November, uh, next month, we're bringing out a full version. It's packed with lots of other features, um, stereoscopic support, project sharing, lots of codecs, and it's uh, $60 a year, so it's, it's nothing. But what we're really on is an exciting journey, and our whole company is built around collaboration, so we're encouraging people to get involved and help shape the tools that are important to you as editors. We want your input and your feedback. So we're very lucky to have many award-winning editors, such as Tariq. And um, hopefully this evening, you'll get a good insight into Tariq, and hopefully you'll see why Lightworks is a great tool as well, and why he's stuck with that. So um, I hope you're going to enjoy the evening. I hope to see some of you after this for a drink. But um, please um, put your hands together and welcome onto our stage, Josh Apter, our host, and tonight's special guest, Tariq Anwar. <laughs> 